Right now, thousands of Americans are still out of work. The national unemployment rate stands at just over 13 percent. Here in Florida, it's even higher, 14.5 percent. However, there are businesses hiring, and some are seeing a stack of resumes unlike anything they have ever seen before. Here's New Six's Clay Lepard. All right, we'll have that out for you, okay, hon? No more new job jitters for Megan Grant. And I was like, it's been like six years since I've worked in a kitchen, but sure. Two months ago, this laid off medical receptionist joined the team to help open the second location for this Orlando sandwich shop. We won't say its name aloud on television. I'm glad that you're here. Doesn't matter. You're good. <laughs> Owner John Colazzo forgives us. He would rather focus his energy on sorting through the resumes coming in during the pandemic about four times as many as he usually sees. Right now we have 16 employees, which I never thought we would get, um, but we need about 25, so we need about 10 more people, nine more people. So we're looking at resumes right now. We have stacks and stacks because there's so many people in need. Punctuation matters to Colazzo, but not as much as personality. If you have a great attitude, man, and you have the hope and the will, you know, that's what we look for. When the pandemic first began, this main location in the Milk District lost about 80% of its business. While Colazzo never closed, almost all of his new hires know what that feels like coming from furloughed or laid off positions. Did you want to drink with your hog today? Business is still down about 30%. It's going to be 1326. And thank you so much for wearing a mask while you wait. But busy enough to keep people like Megan Grant employed. To work for one of the biggest sandwich shops in town, like I thought that was really awesome. Um, hi, hon, how are you? In Winter Park. Clay Lepard. The night's good. My personal favorite's the killer. That's going to be our spicy honey glazed fried chicken. Getting results, News 6.